Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Sticky Note Marketing. I am your host, Mary Zarnecki. I am a marketing strategist and business transformation coach. And I love working with coaches, consultants, and savvy business owners to help you get your services, products, and offers in front of the people who need them most. Because I know that you have a message that matters and it's important to make sure that that message gets to the right people who need what you have to offer. So in today's uh, episode, I wanna share with you one of the things that's made the biggest difference in growing my own business in this past year so that you can have access to this to help you grow your business. And I'm gonna be sharing three essential keys to making sure that using that method works for you and your business. So uh, before I kick off today, I just wanted to share a quick story that's really relevant to this topic. So if you aren't familiar with my background, so I uh, went to Princeton undergrad and actually ended up on the crew team my freshman year. Now you might think, okay, great, maybe she grew up as an athlete, maybe she grew up rowing. And I can assure you that is pretty much the opposite scenario that actually was re my reality growing up. So yes, my, my family was fairly active, but I wasn't what you might call a athlete growing up. I was definitely one of the chubbier ones of my friends. I have had weight issues and troubles with, you know, man managing my weight all growing up, right? Um, but when I got into Princeton, I got the program uh, delivered to my to my house, right? You know, with all the courses and it's pretty much like the course catalog. And on the cover of it that year was a picture of the women's crew team. Now, I did not go to a high school that had a crew team. In fact, we only had five sports my entire high school. So I did not have any familiarity, never been in a boat before, never rowed ever before. Um, but seeing that picture, something stirred inside of me. And I was like, that's it. I'm gonna try out for the crew team when I get to my freshman year. So I trained. So that summer I was working in a corporate office in a summer internship and I connected with the personal trainer who was working in the health center at that office. And I asked her if she'd work with me over the summer to train me to get ready for tryouts in the fall. And we worked, <laughs> let me tell you. Like I said, I was not a natural athlete. I'm also not very tall, which is you know a kind of detriment for being a rower. I'm only 5'4". So she worked with me. Now this was back in the day. This is like 25 years ago. So this is not like CrossFit style, but we were running stairs. We were doing burpees. We were flipping tires all before CrossFit was cool. And the reason I'm telling you this story is because I worked my little butt off because something ignited in me. I knew something, it just was calling to me. I wanted to do this. I wanted to have this experience. I wanted to get on this team. So I worked for it and I put myself outside of my comfort zone and I sought out a coach who could help me get there, right? Who could help me uh, get on the journey, on the right steps, on the right path to give me the best chance at success, right? She wasn't gonna guarantee me that I was gonna make this team, right? But she was gonna give me the best chance of success. So when I walked onto that you know, team, when I basically tried out, we went through some serious rounds of cuts. We went through three rounds of cuts uh, for the freshman crew team at Princeton and I made it through. Like I, I made it through three rounds of cuts against other women who had been rowing in high school, right? And I did it and really blew my own mind, right? I, I, the whole way going through these cuts, I was like, you know what? It's great. This is a great experience. I'm really glad I'm doing this. If I don't do it, you know, no big deal. At least, you know, I'm forming a new community and making new friends and I'm doing something that I never thought I was going to be able to do. But I made it. And I rode my whole freshman year um, and had a great time, really made, you know, some lifelong friends on that team and just really kind of exceeded my own expectations for what I could achieve. Now, the reason I'm telling you this story and you're like, okay, Mary, what does rowing have to do with business is because of a few essential pieces of that story. Number one, there was something inside of me that just lit up, that knew that this was an experience I wanted and it was calling to me. So the thing I wanted to share with you today that's made the biggest impact in my business has been speaking and using stages to connect with my audience. Now, a year ago, I was not using stages or speaking at all to grow my business, to grow my audience, to grow my impact or my income. But in the past 12 months, I've not only spoken on online stages, digital stages, but I've also spoken at local stages, regional stages, and even national and international audience stages. So it has made a huge impact. Overall, in the past 12 months, I've spoken on 27 different stages. And all of this started because I got this idea. I was like, okay, 
How can I connect with people without the tech overwhelm, without having to feel like I have to be online all day? How can I get in front of the most people at, the, at, a, at a one shot that want what I have to offer, that are potentially my people? And speaking really kind of just was this fire that I found myself really attracted to, the same way that I had had that spark, that, that connection, that kind of pull to really trying out and having that crew team experience. So here's the thing. The other part of that story, which was very essential and was also essential for my success in using speaking and stages, was to have a coach, to have someone that could give you the best chance at success, that could teach you the core things about for you know the crew team experience about getting in shape for a division one crew team, or in my case in my business, working over the past year in a program with mentorship with people who know how to craft a talk for stage, get on stages, and then how to create offers that scale from the stage. So knowing what to do in that case and learning from those people who have gone before and done it and do it successfully has made that uh, that journey go a lot faster, right? So really setting myself up for success in that way. And then the other uh, part of that story, which I think is really appropriate for how I've used stages and speaking in my own business, is just that I just went for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I was not an athlete growing up, like I mentioned, but I had the support. I had this fire. I had this interest that I wanted to pursue. And so I went for it. And if it didn't work out, it didn't work out. But I gave it my best shot and it did work out. So here's the thing. I wanted to share this thing that I've been using in my business, the speaking, the stages, the using um, this kind of authority building, presence building connection building method in my business has made a huge difference, not only in my income this year, but also in growing my audience, growing my impact, growing my ability to use my skills to actually impact other people's lives and other people's businesses. And I want that for you because I know if you're part of my community, you have something of value, you have an expertise, you have a talent, you have a service that can provide value for someone else, right? Whether it's their personal life or their business. And you need to make sure that you're getting that in front of the people who need it most. Because if you don't, if you're hiding your light under under a barrel, no one's gonna know who you are and no one's gonna be able to you know tap into that. Hey Susan, great to see you here live. All right, so here are the three key things that have been essential for me to be successful in using stages to grow my business that I wanna make sure that you know and you need you know that you need to have in yours. So number one is you need a good signature talk. So just getting up on stage and talking, you know, ad lib, ad hoc, doesn't really work really well. And there's a strategy to speaking from stage, whether it's a digital stage, like a podcast, whether it's a live local event, like a networking event, and you've only got 10 minutes, or whether you're speaking on a legit stage for a 60 minute keynote, there's a strategy to it. But the cool thing is, once you learn the strategy, all of a sudden it's wash, rinse and repeat. You can accordion it, you can make it work for 60 minutes, you can make it work for two hours. I've made it work for four hour workshops and I've made it work for five, 10 minutes minute local introduction sessions. Once you know the Signature Talk framework, it's flexible and it's a plug and play system. The second thing you're going to need is you're going to need to know how to actually get on stages, whether you want to pitch podcasts so that you don't have to be a road warrior, or you never even have to put on pants or leave your house to get on stages, or whether you actually want to be a keynote traveling the country and getting flown all over the place, all over the world to speak on stages, whether you're local, whether you're regional, whether you're international, you need to know how to pitch stages effectively and position yourself as a win-win opportunity for anyone who's scheduling these stages. The other thing you want to think about too is number three, you need to make sure that you have a scalable offer from stage because getting paid speaking gigs like I've gotten this year have been awesome. It's a great influx. It For me, I really enjoy speaking. And so therefore, you know, speaking and getting paid to do it is like a win-win for me. But the key is, and the reason real influx and growth for your business can come from actually having a scalable offer from stage. Now, not every stage you're going to be on can you pitch from stage, but that doesn't matter. You need to know how to take those opportunities, those connections, and those engagements that you have with that audience and transition it into a scalable income-producing offer. So 
If those three things aren't something that you are super familiar with, I wanted to share an invitation with you today. So I'm really excited that the program that I actually joined, the thing that got me started and off on the right foot and set me up for success has its doors open right now. So right now until tomorrow night, Friday night at 11.59 Pacific PM um, on November 8th, the doors are open to Pete Fergus's Stage to Scale program. And I am a loyal advocate and affiliate for this program. So I am inviting you to check it out. If you have any interest, if you have that little fire, even a small spark where you're like, hmm, I'd love to get in front of people, but I'm so sick of trying to show up and not getting anything out of it. Or I feel like I'm in tech overwhelm and I need to connect with more people more powerfully, more fast. <laughs> so stages are a great way to get you out of that. So I invite you to check out the details on the program. I put a link above to the bonus offer that I'm offering for anyone who joins the Stage to Scale program through me. And the reason why I'm so passionate about this program is because it hits all three of those keys. It's gonna teach you how to do a signature talk. It's gonna teach you how to land stages in an authentic, non-sleazy, non-salesy, non-icky kind of way. And it's also going to teach you how to set up a scalable offer that will make you money even if you can't pitch from stage. So these are the three things that were essential for you, for me to use stages to grow my business this past year. And I want you to have access to it if it's of interest to you. Now, I also have been through the program myself and I know that there's amazing content in there, but I also know that once the program is over, it was essential for me to get continued support and accountability, which is why I'm also offering a bonus tack on program, uh, which is kind of an insane bonus. In fact, my own business coach yelled at me for this offer, but I am going to be giving anyone who joins Stage to Scale through my uh, affiliate link, basically access to my Marketing Accelerator Academy, because I know how essential it is to keep that momentum going after the Stage to Scale program ends and you've got all of those tools in your toolkit, now you need to make sure that you're using them. So that is the bonus offer. Check out all the details in the link above if this is of interest to you. And I wanna know if you have any questions about the program, if you have any questions about how I use speaking in my business, drop them below, tag me. I love to continue the conversation uh, with you and learn more about your interest in using speaking in stages. Even if the idea of being up on stage scares the bejesus out of you and gets all those butterflies curling up inside of you and going crazy in your tummy, don't worry about it. This program is what got me out of those butterflies. It got me the system. It got me the step-by-step -step that I wanted to make sure that I was learning from someone who knew how to do this. I wasn't trying to figure it out on my own. So wishing you all the success in your business this week. If you have any questions, like I said, drop them below and I will come back in and answer them for you. Cheers, guys. Wishing you success in your business and I will see you on the next episode of Sticky Note Marketing. Bye.